Last time we transformed this whole peninsula into farmland and built a lovely windmill as central point. And today, well, I give over to in-game Marky Sparky. Hi there, my name is Marky Sparky and welcome back to AlphaCraft, where we are building our kingdom. And last time we have indeed built the farmland over there and, well, started with... Yeah, this this transform this whole whole area here basically, and we started with this lovely windmill right here. Oh yeah, I still love it, absolutely love it. The farmland around it is now um, well completely filled in. So also the parts here in the back are fully grown. We still have to add all the scarecrows and stuff, but today, guys, today we are doing something different because Christmas is approaching. Or, yeah, winter is coming, basically, uh, which, yeah, we, we are standing in the completely wrong area for that. This does not look uh, wintry, Christmassy at all. That is why we are going to build a winter holiday village on the server. And yeah, I'm planning on building like a, well... N not not me alone, obviously. We, as everyone on the server, hopefully, whoever finds the time to contribute, we will build a nice little um, Christmas-themed village over on, uh, on the spawn island that we have. And I'm going to add a sleigh today for a Secret Santa game. Because that is tradition, right? However, to do so, I have to gather a lot of resources. We need snow. We need a lot of snow because the spawn island, that's a mushroom island, that is not snowy at all. We need snow. We need everything to transform something into snow, snow golems and, and stuff. And then we also need, like, the resources to actually build stuff. I'm thinking Christmas-themed trees, gingerbread houses, stuff like that. However, I'm not going to do everything on my own. But I definitely want to start doing something. So let me gather up some resources and I'll see you over there. Oh. Hello there. <clears throat> Again. <laughs> Let's get rid of those guys and then I'll head over to the spawn island. Because I think I have gathered... Well, for, for now I have gathered all I need. And there we go. <laughs> Another one for our collection. And in you go. 12. <laughs> okay. So I think we can head over to the spawn island. And see what we can do over there. Okay, there we are. That's the Halloween maze. I think uh, we want to... Put the Christmas village or the winter holiday village, let's call it like that, um, here. Because here our spawn donut is close to ice. Anyway, and I think that just makes sense. Let's see where's the northern, the most northern part of that. I think right here. I think right here will, would be great. Yeah, right here is fine. Because here we have the icy glaciers there and well even even over there still. Uh, and here we have a nice little bay and I'm thinking I want to create like a very small harbor for this uh, winter village. And then all of that here can be transformed into Winter Wonderland. First of all, we have to get rid of all the mushrooms, though. And after a very rainy day, there we have our rainbow. <laughs> oh, amazing. Um, so, I've cleared this whole area of all the mushrooms, the small ones on the floor. Oh, I've missed one. Look at that. <laughs> uh, over here are still some missing. Oh, so many mushrooms. Anyway, I've cleared all of that. Um, area over here and I've also flattened it out just a bit so when we go over with our snow golems in a minute um, yeah we will easier fill it all with snow and I'm thinking like a snow border like like yeah um, just just like tiny snow hills all around here to um, 
so that the area is like separated nicely from everything else. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. Okay, I'm back from gathering some snow. Um, we will need a fence post. There we go. You will see in a second why we need that. Let's create a few of those guys and they will make more snow so we can create more of them. Now we can do this for a while. <laughs> And no, we are not going to cover the snow ourselves manually. We will obviously use the snow golems for that. But we need a bit more snow so we can create enough of those guys. So that this will, well, not take forever, basically. Okay, that's all the leads I have. Okay. Now, the hard part is to catch all of them before they all move away. <laughs> you, 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 you. You, you. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> and with all of those guys attached, we will now walk across. <laughs> okay, that's that's super funny. <laughs> Let's create our winter wonderland. Okay, a huge part of it is covered with snow. Well, not completely, obviously, and I mean, the leads of those guys break every time you want to, um, well, get them up one block. Uh, well, not every time, but when they are crowded, then one, a few of them uh, are left behind and then the leads break and stuff. But that's fine. We have, we have covered a huge area. Now I will gather some snow for, like, the wall around it and... Yeah, progress. Oh yes, people are already contributing a lot. <laughs> Vic just brought over a huge amount of brown concrete powder, which will be amazing for gingerbread houses and stuff that definitely should go into this area. And by the way, this took forever. <laughs> and at the moment it looks a bit weird, but we have the snow wall up and running uh, that separates this area nicely from the surroundings. And I love it. We need a nice little gate here in front. I hope some of the others, somebody of the others, uh, will take on the task of creating a nice, um, <clears throat> frosty, <laughs> Christmassy decorated uh, gate entrance something here. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then up there I imagine in the center the huge Christmas tree that I will definitely not build. No, no. <laughs> we have to build the the sleigh of Santa and I have to figure out where I want to have it. It will definitely not be the centerpiece but it should also not be too far off to the side. Probably if the tree goes there, there somewhere, that would be nice. Although I don't like it that it goes down. No. Maybe just in front here. Yeah, I think I will I will just drop it right here. Yeah, like slay here facing this direction. That's yeah, that's what I want to do. By the way, this is like the third iteration of, of snow golems. You probably saw that in the time lapse. Because, well, it rained. It rained uh, a lot. And each time it rained, they just drop dead around me and now I installed this little uh, shelter here from the rain for those remaining because I'm running out of pumpkins <laughs> at least over here anyway let's get uh, this sleigh going okay I'm thinking I'm going to build the two runners first I looked up sleigh or sled terminology those things should be called runners right well I will call them that now and if not we will call them slave feed or something. <laughs> anyway, I think I will start with those. And since this sleigh should be quite big because we want to get on it and have like uh, the dispensers on there for the uh, secret Santa thingy, they should definitely be at least too wide. 
maybe something like that. And then come here to the front. Uh, maybe like that. I think I should focus on one first and then build the other. <laughs> Would probably be a good idea. That's also a bit too... Uh, now we need to put the snow back on. Well, we will do that afterwards. Um, is that long? No, it's not long enough. I mean, the Santa sleigh, it has this winding thing that goes all the way on top to where the sleigh cart is. The, the, the cabin thing, I don't know how that is called, by the way. Um, but I guess we can start with something like that. Have that there. Go up further. And even further. And then we should start maybe adding in a few of those. I have no idea. We will see how that looks like in a second. Something like that. <laughs> Actually, that is not too bad. It's maybe a bit too big, isn't it? Hmm. Could be too big. That, however, is too small, is it? I think I'm going to go with a big one. Yeah. I'm going to go with the big one. This is going to be a huge sleigh. That is fine. <laughs> that is fine. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's that's a bit stupid, but but hey. <laughs> let's let's see how how the rest turns out be before we judge. <laughs> hmm. I think with this basic shape I can actually work. So we have this the runners down here connecting up to the I don't know, cabin wagon part. And uh, this will will like be very narrow here. So here you can actually get in and then go up there again and will be very bulky back there. I think the basic shape is fine. Hmm, yes, my shelter is paid out. <laughs> is that even something you say in English? Anyway, those guys are happily alive, which is amazing. And it rains again. It rains from, well those cloudy bits up there <laughs> also i'm happy to tell you that people have started to put stuff in vic has started to build the very first gingerbread house and we have very weird uh, christmas cows over here <laughs> anyway i decided to turn uh, the sleigh around after all from over there to here and i thought about hmm, how can i put gold stuff in there we, we don't have any gold blocks except for the actual gold blocks which are, yeah, not what I want to use. But, well, there's copper. I don't like it yet. Don't judge it yet. But I think it's it's definitely better than the, the dark oak wood. And I've also tried to incorporate the mangrove wood here to give it some extra detail. I'm not so sure yet. I do like the railing up there. That is, that is definitely something that will stay. Um... I don't think the runners there will, will stay copper. I think uh, I will try polished um, deep slate for that. But this is looking way better than it did just a second ago. Yeah, that looks so much better. I think I just want to have the actual blades. I don't know how to say that stuff. The, th that part. I think I just want to, that, to have that part as, as polished uh, deep slate. Not those connectors there, but... Yeah, we'll see. I, I, it's, 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 we're getting there. Yeah, we're definitely getting there. Okay, I decided to change that to Deep Slate um, regardless. I think that looks way better. And I added way more of these uh, mangrove wood trapdoors. I'm not so sure. Is that good? Is that bad? I kind of like it. I also used it as a door up there on the other side. It's closed, as you can see there. I think I, think I can work with this. And I, I think I wouldn't even add a lot more than that. And if I look at pictures of Santa's sleigh, that comes close. Okay, now we need a, um, like a stairway up and the secret Santa mechanics inside. <laughs> okay, I wanted to do this as a joke, but that actually, <laughs> that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love this. Yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> so stupid and simple, but perfect. Yep. Uh, I will keep this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Same perspective as every time. <laughs> I think for now I'm done, actually. I mean, there will be a path over there. Not, not this color. This is very, very bright yellow. <laughs> <laughs> but like like dirt, cursed dirt and pots all in it and stuff like that. That looks fine with, with snow around it. <clears throat> yeah, but the sleigh itself, I think... So it's definitely done as far as people can put their name in. But we are not done yet. No, no, no. We will do more. Santa Mark, he is coming to town. <laughs> anyway, we're completely done. I've added, well, a tree of my own in here. Uh, up, 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 let me jump up here. Yeah, and I love those mini blocks as like Christmas tree decorations. Like the, I don't know how you call them. <clears throat> anyway, some lights and, well, we're using the soul lanterns here because they don't melt the snow. And that's absolutely amazing. And I've added some ice spikes around here. Indy put in a huge, amazing Christmas tree right there. Oh, yeah. Maybe I, I should wear that stuff if I want to fly, right? Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. This area is beautiful. And yeah, we got, we got Vic's house in. And we got all those candy canes here as lights. I love it. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Oh yes, and actually by now uh, all the people who want to participate have put their names in and we can actually draw somebody out already. So let's do that. I mean, I'm definitely not going to show you because, well, the person I'm drawing out here could be watching and it's supposed to be a secret Santa, right? But let's press the button and have a look. Aha, 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 amazing. Yeah, I will add a Christmas present for them. Here, under the tree, is going to be amazing. But again, can't show you. Sorry. You will see it probably in the next episode. Because thank you so much for watching today. I had a blast. I actually was sick in the last few weeks. And this kind of kept me sane. Placing some blocks down. And yeah, you probably heard it in my voice as well. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm better. And yeah, I will begin to stream again also very very soon and i don't know when you are watching this this is supposed to be the christmas episode it will be out before christmas but i wish you a very very nice winter holiday i wish you a good time with your families and friends and yeah spread the love that's what this season is for right anyway i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching bye bye